Yo, what is good, YouTube people? Yes, 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 guys, 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 come on. It's just, it's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Come on, come on. Now. Um, so guys, listen, I'm back with another YouTube video. It's your boy Adam Stazir. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button to join my Adams family right the freak now, okay? Now, I don't have a gaming video. Wow. Woo! I don't have a gaming video for you guys right now because honestly, my PS4 just decided to literally not work. Like, I literally have it like unplugged completely because I literally had it on last night and I tried to turn it on to like again today. It literally did not turn on. It just wasn't turning on. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I was really gonna get mad and like bash this thing into pieces because I have a thing about, anyway. All right, so I don't have a gaming video for you guys today. I don't know when I'll be continuing that. It's sad because like I really, I literally got everything that I needed for me to stream effectively, but I, I, I the PS4 of course still didn't want to work. Um, so for some reason, I think that um, uh, God has put it in my heart to um, share this with you guys today. Uh, what I learned in the past with relationships, girls, pretty much of that nature. So it's not really like a video where it's like I'm really giving you like a like a like a breakdown of like what not to do and what to do when it comes to relationship or the opposite sex. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Adams, why are you giving us uh, relationship tips and advice if you're single? Well, honestly. Shut up. The first thing that I want to share with for my for my bros out there, for the guys, first things first. When you get a girlfriend, or if you're talking to a girl, or if you're in cahoots with a female, right? Don't like just automatically assume there is a third party threat. When I say third party threat, I mean someone who's literally plotting and waiting for you to slip up so that they can get their claws on a on a female. There hasn't been a single situation where I was either talking to a girl or a relationship with a girl or in literally any kind of cahoots with a girl where I didn't feel or know that there was a third party threat waiting for me to slip up or to like to even intervene while we're talking. Yeah, that's like number one. Like just, just assume that like you're not the only person who has eyes on your girl or on your significant other or your, you know, person that you're dating or whatever. Just, just know that there is somebody out there who's literally waiting for you to slip up. Just assume that there is, just assume. Like don't, like I just, I just want to say assume like not in the sense of like, like don't be surprised that there is a third party threat is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, don't be surprised. Like, there's, chances are, if you had your eyes on her, there's probably three or four or five other dudes that had the same eye on the girl, either in the past or now, or probably gonna happen in the future. So, just be very careful on that, all right? That's number one, that's the, that's the first tip. Second tip, honestly, might strike some controversy. This might strike debate. I welcome all debate. This is a completely opinionated video, so please, honestly, bash me. Go ahead, bash me. Um, this is all based off of personal experience and the experience of what I've, what I've seen growing up with my social groups and whatnot. At least for me. Now I can say this for me. This, this, you know, this video might not apply to everybody. It might not. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to apply to everybody. But one thing that I've learned is that if a girl and a guy or a boyfriend and girlfriend, I'ma say it. I'ma say it. There's no other need for anybody in that relationship to have another best friend. Okay, 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 all right. I said it. I said what I said. There is no need, and I'm gonna say it again, there is literally, absolutely no need for anybody in the relationship to have a best friend on the side because if this kind of like blends in with the whole third party threat thing it's just not a good place it's just not it's it's for me i can't have that i can't have it and you could say oh adam you just have trust issues or adams you just you know you're just uh insecure about whatever no 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 no. it's not so much that yeah it probably is that is that a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you but um it's just that like the role of like if i'm if i'm your like if you're my well this is kind of weird because it's like probably, hopefully, multiple of y'all watch my videos. But if I have a girlfriend, right? Let's just say her name is Jazzy. I'm just, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> whatever. 
um, let's just say her name is Jazzy and I'm her mans, right? There is no need for me to have a girl best friend. She, Jazzy should be my best friend, my future wife, my wife, uh, and everything that I need in between. Like there's literally no other, like everything else pretty much is at like a friend level, acquaintance level type status of a really of you know relationship or whatever the freak you want to call it but like it's because it's just the fact that like i know that like why can't like if if you're my girl you should be able to talk to me about all your issues about everything you should be able to talk to me about me like you should be able to talk about me to me you know what i'm saying like you shouldn't have to go to your guy best friend for what for what you know what i'm saying like you shouldn't have to go to your guy best friend to talk about me because he's going because you know what he because you know what he gonna do and i'm not gonna lie to you i did play that best friend role one time but not on purpose so because the dude what the what the best friend dude gonna do and ladies don't i'm not stupid okay i've been in the game for a minute okay just just because i i, I haven't been in a relationship in the past seven years um that doesn't mean that i don't know how it works all right but the se the second the girl asks advice from the male best friend, not the boyfriend, the dude gonna be like, honestly, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think he's treating you right. You know what I mean? Like I think you could do better. You know what I mean? I think that like, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't even know how to treat a woman like you. You know what I'm saying? You a special kind of woman. You a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? You a one you a once in a lifetime kind of woman. You know what I'm saying? Like you a once in a lifetime kind of woman to me. You know what I mean? Like. It, you, you don't come around often, so I feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, you could do better, you know what I'm saying, you could do better, you could do better, like, that's gonna be his role, like, that's, that's gonna be his job, like, you'll, you'll go to him, like, oh, like, oh my gosh, like, he's just so mean to me sometimes, like, sometimes I don't know how to communicate with him, well, honestly, let's, you know what, let's talk about it, you know what I'm saying, why don't you come through, you know what I'm saying, we could, we could talk about it, you know what I'm saying, let's, let's, let's catch a movie, you know what I'm saying, chill out, you know what I'm saying, get your mind off of it, you know what I'm saying, get your mind off of it, you know what I mean, come through, come through, like, that's gonna be his role, that's gonna be his game, and, 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 and what happens? <clears throat> I've seen it happen before. I'm not saying it's not gonna happen again, but I'm I'm just saying I've seen it happen where the girl would be like, okay, okay, yeah, let's hang out because I just want to get my mind off of things. And the next thing you know, the dude's like, honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was your man, I do you right. I do you right. Like that's that's that is the main. I'm not saying that that's gonna happen like you know verbatim, but that's basically what the freak happens. Um, even if it happens like unintentionally, like they'll you know hang out, hang out. It's just I just it's just a whole lot of mess. It's just I don't I don't want you like if we're if we're married, if we're married and you're hanging out with some other dude talking about some yeah I don't know how to deal with my husband. Like you just that's that's just that's just home wrecking one on one and vice versa. I'm not gonna hang like I'm I'm no but no female best friend for me. You know what I'm saying? Like my girl can have her girls. As a man, I can have my dudes, you know what I'm saying? I can have my bros, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not having a like my wife is gonna be my female best friend, my wife, my lover, my partner, my business partner. My, my the mother of my kids like that's the long like you know what I'm saying like that's that's it for me I'm I'm sorry that this number two took a while but I had to get it off my chest like there's no other like and you you can say what you can you can feel free to you know comment below what you think but man woman together there is no other need for anything else there's no other need. Wow, I kind of went off on that one. Um, I might come back to that. I might come back to that later. And the third thing, I was gonna make it five, but I don't wanna make this video too long. So the third thing um, that I'd say that you have to have, you know, especially, what I learned is you try to have your homies there for you. Now this is tricky, right? This is tricky. So like, for example, um, the first time when I, you know, I'm, I'm a thug, I'm a thug though, I'm a gangster. But um, the first time that I <clears throat> had a breakup, <laughs> you know, I wasn't crying or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't crying, you know what I mean? I wasn't, 
I wasn't sad. <laughs> Look at me. Like, <laughs> what could I be sad about? <laughs> anyway, uh, when I had my first breakup, no lie to you, that was the hardest thing of my life. Like, that was like, whoa. Like, I just lost a whole lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I just lost my senses. I didn't know what was up and down. But shout out to my guys, my homies back in the day. They really had my back. You know what I mean? Like they really had my back. Uh, they really helped me get back on my feet when like, you know, like emotionally, or mentally, all the kind of stuff. Because it was a good circle that I had. <laughs> Sorry. It was like I had a really, really good circle. So I guess my advice, my third one would be like, try to have, and I guess this, ah, this is weird because it, it kind of depends. So like, I guess try to have a circle, you know what I'm saying? Especially earlier in your stages of a relationship, just in case if things fall off or whatever, things go things go left, you have a good support system to keep you up. I guess that, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, try to have a good support system, I guess you could say, just in case. Now, don't don't get it twisted with the male best friend. Oh, that's what he's there for. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. There's a difference. Okay, there's a difference. All right, I'm talking about like, like if my girl got her girls as a support system, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I got my guys as a support system, that's cool. But then after a certain level, you know, when things get more serious, then you two have to be each other's support system, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Try to have a support system earlier, you know what I mean, like in the early stages, and then once you guys work and develop and start to grow in the relationship, I think that's when it's safe to be like, all right, look, we gotta stick this out, so we gotta be each other's support system. Yeah, I think, I think that's a, a solid three tips of advice that I've learned in my life. So, number one, when you're in a relationship, or if you're talking to a girl, or if you're in cahoots with a girl, whatever you whatever you want to call it nowadays, because honestly, y'all millennials getting me sick and tired of these freaking different types of labels you guys have going on. But first things first, always assume that there is a third party threat waiting for you to slip up. Lesson number two, I'm just saying, this might not apply to you, but it applies to me. Nobody is allowed to have any of the best friends besides the two people in the relationship. Number three, number three, try to have a strong support system, like family, you know what I mean? Like family or friends you know you can rely on, you know what I mean, if things go left or whatever, like especially in the early stages, still keep them there, you know what I mean? Um, but like, you, like, you'll know the difference. Like, you'll know, like, the difference, especially as a man. Like, as a man, I'm sorry, this this might, as a man, I know my radar. Like, I know my radar. I know, oh, he's a threat, he's a threat, he's a threat, he's a threat, he's a threat. Like, I just, I'm just able to pick it up because as men, you know what I mean? Like, I, because I've been there before. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've peeped that before. Like, I know when I, I, I just... I have like a, a sixth sense about these things. Like I just know who's a threat, you know what I mean? So like you'll, you'll feel the difference. Like if your gut ain't churning up, then they're probably not a threat, probably not. Um, but just in general, there's always gonna be a third party threat. Nobody is, out, is, is allowed to have any best friends outside of each other, outside of the relationship. And number three, try to have a strong support system just in case if things go left. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't wanna make this video too long. It's already 15 minutes. Um, so with that being said, y'all, I love you guys. And let me know if you guys want me to drop some more of these type of videos. I kinda, I have a whole lot of more ideas um, for like relationship type stuff. So let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see. Again, my name is Adam Zazir, and this is my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button right the freak now. All right, we are over and out of here.